Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Big Yak Monthly Cup. <laughs> What is that in the chat? Uh, it is October edition number three, the final weekly qualifier of the month. So you are guys this final chance in order to qualify to the monthly final, which is gonna happen next month, where a cash prize of 400 euro is waiting for the um, participants. And today uh, we have the same procedure as always. Um, this month we have a little bit of a special edition where I will be using maps built and submitted by you guys so all of you guys had the chance to build maps and send them to me and i might pick them for the cup so that's going to be a bit of a special thing so we have community made maps today uh, other than that the format is the same as always we have 15 maps in total on each map you have one short warm-up the maps are unknown to everyone so nobody knows what they are driving on so they have one warm-up to learn the maps and then there is three live rounds similar to how it works in one cup and in all of the other bymcs of course And then in each of the live rounds, um, players can collect points and at some point they will reach the point limit, which is 6,969 points. And once they reach that, they are in finalist mode, which means that they need to uh, win one more round in order to close out the tournament. That is everything you need to know uh, for now. I would say, ladies and gentlemen, also Iridium, the admin today, shout out to Iridium. We can start the server as soon as the clock... Oh, it's 20 now. Oh, mashallah. Okay. Zack, there we go. We're hopping onto the first map. Good luck, have fun to all of the opponents. As always, we have a fully filled server. 118 out of 100 players. A lot of really, really good players as well. Skandir, Heath, Lars, all of the usual participants. Bren is also here today. Many okay boys. A lot of insane Frenchies. It is crazy stacked. And we're gonna start on um, a map built by Mika. Mika was also in the chat earlier, actually. And he built a map called Flow State Error, which is, um, yeah, like, yeah, what is that? <laughs> a bit of bobsleigh, a bit of road, a bit of other stuff. It is a rather normal map, nothing too crazy. So it should be um, a good map to, uh, you know, start the cup on. A good map for people to warm up a little bit and to get their tires ready for the more difficult stuff later on. Let's see how uh, the warm-up is gonna go. Let's see how cooked people are at learning maps and look how many players we are. Holy moly, eh? the server is very full. So we have a small transition here into bobsleigh as you can see. As you can see we also have some lags, so that is fantastic. Then we have a reactor grass part into another bobsleigh, so quite a bit of bobsleigh on this map. Bobsleigh for some people very boring, for some others really hard. Always depends. Then a small wall right into another wall right. So you want to get uh, a lot of exit speed into this part. Into another bobsleigh turn where you've got to be a bit careful with the entry because you can get a slowdown quite easily. And then at the ending some zigzag and then over here is the finish. Not too crazy of a map. Should be a good one to begin the cup with. And let's see who is gonna do good here. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Yeah, Iridium left the server to start server 2 because we also have a server 2 guys. Very important. Okay, let's just follow Bren for the first round. Let's just check the... I was about to say, let's just check the, the, the top the top players first. Why is everybody respawning? Lucas Turbo. One of the okay boys. He is cooking. Okay, Lucas Turbo, not dead yet. We're going in. We are going in. Let's see. Turbo not qualified yet. Um, I will talk about the entire qualifying system later on a little bit more. But all of these players' goal is to, of course, have fun, but also to qualify to the monthly final, which is going to happen next month. And, uh, yeah, Turbo is not safe yet in the monthly final, but if he does good today, I think he has a really good chance. And the first round is looking pretty solid for him. 12th place will grant him 300-ish points. Should be pretty solid. We have Laika winning the first round, then we have Ice in second, which is kind of funny because the map has a lot of Ice. Then we have Heath, Skandir, Kanchika, Fred Wolf, Maimo Jr. and Andy Baguette. And yes, the final is not next month, it's of course next week. My bad. A little bit of waiting time. I hope server is not gonna say bye-bye, that would be uh, very bad. <laughs> and let's maybe follow Kanchika. Kanchika always playing the tournaments that I host, which is cool to see. Kanchika. Alright, let's maybe go on to Liker, the winner of the previous round. Let's see how he's gonna do. <laughs> Fantastic. So far, the jinxing works very nice today. Everybody who I spectate is uh, crashing. That's great. The thing is, Kanchika is also always listening to the stream. So maybe he heard his name, was confused, and then zack, boom. <laughs> okay, anyway, Liker. Um, yeah, he seems to like this map. Haha. 
because he is cooking again. Not with the greatest bobsled line though, so he will probably get overtaken. Oh, actually not the greatest line here either. But overall, oh, somebody crashed there. But still, a fifth place for Liker, solid position. Nothing to complain about, I would say. Looking good for him. All right, one more round on map number one, Flow State. Error by Mika. Who do we spectate? What about, what about, what about, what about, what about Jan van Achtern? Also always playing the Cups. One of the regulars. And not sure how he's doing in the current ranking. Not sure if he still has a chance to qualify. Or maybe if he is already qualified. We can take a look at that later again. But he has a very good start. Going for a no slide here. But ay ay ay, misjudging the release timing quite a bit. Nonetheless, a good start from him. He can get a good position this round for sure. If he survives the rest, of course. He is still in 14th place. That will grant him around 300 points, which is pretty solid. So let's see if he can bring it through. In the meantime, it looks like Purple and Fredwolf are fighting for first. Oh, and look at this. Good speed by Jan van Achtern. Good line here as well. And he is actually... Oh, Kanchika on the left! Ach du Scheiße! Kanchika needs an Aspirin. From that crash, he is absolutely in the mud. Holy shit. He fully hit his forehead on the wall. Holy moly, eh? <laughs> Holy moly. But okay, I think that was a kind of cool map to start with. Apparently, Ben110703 is not thinking the same way. But uh, yeah, taste is different. <laughs> I think it was a good map. And here you can see the ranking. We have uh, six players who are already qualified. Elkon, Brinken, Valegen, Lars, Marijn and Heath. And then, uh, yeah, you see the players, how they do in terms of points. Overall, the top 20 will qualify. So especially around here, these are the players that we have to look out for. And uh, yeah, nothing is set in stone. Also, no clue if all of the players in the top 20 are playing today, of course. So it's going to be interesting. And we're going in. We have, um, yeah, we have a map called Oriental Royal Rush Mini Mode by Flaming Fire. It's a full snowcore map. <laughs> what can I say? It is a full on snowcore map. I know many people will not like this, but I don't give a fucking fuck. Let's see, Marius. Marius, good snowcore player. Let's see how he will do. It is not like the most um, normal snowcore map. It's a bit like a royal map. It has like different sections and it gets more and more difficult, but it stays pretty easy overall. So yeah, let's just spectate the players. We will have close rounds here. There is one part I can tell you where everyone is going to crash. Achtung. 3, 2, 1. Peng. <laughs> so yeah, that part is a bit tricky. Um, I don't know if somebody, if we can go to someone who made it. Well, apparently everybody struggled here. You want to go from right to left so that you don't have airtime. And then also here, my name is Dennis. Uh, also here you have a very tight turn, which is super tricky. Then going up the hill, even more turns and a rather slow jumping section into the finish basically full on snow car action gonna be interesting who's gonna perform here but technically there are we have some specialists for that marius is good at that lacos turbo should be good on that jan van achtern also good at snow car so the one or other player will perform here i'm pretty sure tv king as well tv king also very good at all cars let's maybe spectate him because he is not necessarily the most insane stadium player but he's very good with all other cars like, he's pretty good at, like, every car, basically. So let's maybe spectate him. Because he's usually not among the very top players. But let's see how he's gonna do. So, until here, everything pretty normal. But then this point... Oh, TV King doesn't know he's clueless! He's clueless? He didn't know about the jump? Maybe he didn't get here in the warm-up? He still... He was pretty lucky, to be honest. That could have gone way worse for him. But, of course, he does not have a lot of speed now. We actually have Kanchika in first. Holy shit! Did you see that? Where's Kanchika? I don't find him in the rankings. Where's Bren? Oh, Bren also super far behind. CJ also doing good. But it was actually Kanchika winning the map. Nobody really running away in points. Ice has a small lead. But then... Yeah, look at that. And holy moly. There's like five players within 20 points. That is crazy. Fredwolf saying, look me. Okay, I look you. Watching Fredwolf. Fredwolf, if you crash now, Ben. So, let's see. What is Fred Wolf gonna cook? Is he gonna cook something? Or not? Kanchika also still with the world record, eh? Kanchika really cooked? Bren now on first. Bren theoretically also really good with other cars. Oh, but Bren also... Did he survive that? Yeah, Fred Wolf, Ben. He told me to spectate him, but he failed. So then we have Sin. Sin doing pretty good. In the front we have Bren, Lars and Sven fighting. And Purple as well. Wait! Huh? 
There's a cut. Yeah, hello. There's a shortcut. Wait, I think people turned around here. And then you can jump here. This is the final checkpoint. Yeah, hello. Ach so. There's no more checkpoint. There was a cut all along. You can go here, jump out. Like Aaron is trying to do. <laughs> and then you can go to the finish. Yeah, hello. Yeah, okay. 38 second time of that. Okay, that was a lot faster, actually. Smart move by Marius and Arpa. But they could only make use of it um, in one round, so it didn't help them too much. But okay, not bad, not bad. Anyway, we're going to the next map. What do we have? Never mind, we have one more round. Yik. <laughs> okay, let's spectate Marius then. I wanna see the cut. I thought we already played three rounds. My bad. So Marius, show me the cut. Okay, Mapper also confirming in the chat, this cut was not intended. Interesting. Is Marius going backwards, I wonder? Because backwards with the snow car, you have very high acceleration. Turbo also going for it. But you, of course, need to nail the finish jump. Oh, Marius taking it rather safe. Interesting. Going like this and then respawning. But Turbo got it so good! 35.5! Turbo instantly jumped to the checkpoint, clean landing. Holy moly, that was pretty good, eh? Turbo with 35.5. That was really fast. The OK boys popping off. All right, all right, all right. So the cutters definitely um, made some ground on this one. Crazy. Interesting. That gave the map a little bit more spice than I uh, originally thought it's gonna have. Interesting map. We go next. Let's see what's waiting for us on the next map. We have BYMC Dolphin. Dolphin? Dolphin? A bit of a mixed map built by Hell Vampire. Hell Vampire, um, a regular in the stream. He is in the chat very often. Hell Vampire also here right now. Hell Vampire type 1. He cooked this map. And this map is actually pretty good. This reminds me of a Bonk Cup map. Like, it feels weird. But when you do the intended lines, it is actually very smooth to drive. So I think Lars, for example, will be really good on this one. And I also want to spectate Lars in the first round. Lars and Bren I have uh, in mind here doing really good. So we also start with snow car, but then um, pretty quickly we go back to stadium. So this should be doable for many. Then a small reactor jump into a wall ride where you of course don't want to clip. Then you have a jump. If you have to respawn, this black thing is a bumper. Then you have this part back into snow car. Then if you have enough speed, you can make this risky jump. And then do a wall right here and use this to jump into this. It's not that easy. It is a hard map. But if you get the lines down very nicely, um, you will be hella fast. And Heath had a very good warm-up, so why not check out Heath? Let's see if he is gonna make it. Okay, he had a bad start already. But let's still spectate him because he knows how to do the ending. So maybe he can give us a good overview over the field. Not clipping the wall right, that is very good. Clipping here, that is not very good. Getting the bumper, he is in the mud. What about CJ? CJ doing pretty good. Getting the stadium jump. Is he gonna make it into the hole? Yes! Okay, fifth place for CJ. Very good. And look what I said. Lars in first. Half a second ahead of second. I knew that Lars was gonna do good here. This is really a typical Bonk Cup kind of map. Like wicked, but nicely calculated, but also not easy to, to get the good lines down. Very good one. Very cool map. Okay, with that we have a tie in first between Lars and uh, Ice. So let's maybe spectate Lars and hopefully we can see a clean run. Nine, he's also touching now. Ah, in a way. Okay, nonetheless, he could still cook. So let's see what he's gonna do. So getting the jump here clean. Yes, but a bit too far to the right. But getting a good line here. Gets the speed, makes the risky. Goes for a s unsmooth plastic hit and then goes for this. Oha, okay, okay. Lars with the brain. Instead of going for the intended jump with this thing, he hit the, he did a wall hit very late and then went with this normal ramp. And with this normal ramp, you of course have way less airtime. And in the ending, it's faster. Okay, Lars with the brain. Not bad, not bad, not bad. All right. So, let's follow Bren. Bren, one of the most skilled players on the server for sure. But everybody I spectate is hitting the wall here in the start. That's interesting. Let's see if he's gonna nail the ending though. Does he know about the secret large strat? Does he know or is he uh, clueless? Oh, he's getting a lot of speed. I think he's clueless. He's going for the normal jump. Oh, is he making it? No, he is not. Oh, that was so unlucky. That was actually unlucky. No. And he's not getting it again. Ain't no way. Okay, Bren fully in the mud this round. Holy shit. 
Oh, this time again, Lars with a sixth place, but Ice and Ixobi not with the greatest points. So Lars does have quite a bit of a lead now. We go to the next map. We have BYMC flip up down bonk by Jan van Achtern himself. And this is, um, yeah, a very, uh, yeah, no? Also, yeah, it's a map. It is definitely a map, that's for sure. This is a bit of a dank map, to be honest. It's more shitfest-like than uh, anything else. So let's see what people are gonna do in the warm-up. So in the, in the beginning, you gotta do a flip. Then you get a little bit of a speed boost, optimally. Then you gotta jump up all the way, get a reactor boost here, and then drop into the pit here, and then hopefully finish. There is not too many finish rings, so it can easily happen that you miss everything. And Ice had a really good warm-up, 14.8. That is crazy. Okay, let's see. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Lars getting the flip, but not getting it too good, to be honest. But he's alive, that's what matters. Getting the jump. Is he gonna make it into the pit? Oh, he's not! Is he gonna land on the wall? No, he's not. He is in the mud. Sven winning the round with a 15.5. But yeah, it seems like you can very easily uh, fail this one as well. Holy moly, Lars struggling, and Lars rarely ever struggles on anything. Ay 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 ay. But he still gets 4 teeth. He still gets 4 teeth with 13 seconds behind. It's not respawnable? What? No, it's not? Yeah. And the map technically also is too short, yeah? Actually, why did I pick this one? Map too short and not respawnable. There were like 3. Oh my god, Lars with the speed boost! Holy shit! Did you see Lars? Oh my god, what the hell? Is he gonna get the finish? No, he's not. No, he's so in the mud. But Lars, holy shit, what was that speed boost? Crazy. He got a bit of a nose up and then you get the reactor boost up soup. That's crazy. The field is evening out a little bit more. And look at that, we have a triple tie. Look at this. Purple Toto and Arpa and also Bren very close. Crazy. Okay, let's see what Ice is gonna do now. I mean, in the ending, the only thing that matters is the finish. Like, you need to instantly get into one of the finishers. Otherwise, you're not getting good points. And Ice is showing us how it's done. Look at that. He, d <laughs> he didn't even fall through the finish. Interesting that he still made it. But yeah, fourth place for him. This is what the map is about. You wanna finish as quickly as possible. So it's the opposite as with your mama. And then I can also maybe explain you a little bit more about um, the monthly final, which is gonna happen uh, next week. Uh, the monthly final, only the top 20 players of the month are gonna participate in. We have prices worth of 400 euro. It's also gonna use a different format, um, which will be about um, uh, a knockout. It will be a knockout mode, but where each player has three lives. So a very unique and interesting format which is going to happen next Monday. And um, there is still uh, the chance to qualify for many people. Uh, the way this works usually is that um, the top three of each weekly qualifier, so also the top three of the day, are going to instantly qualify. Um, that's what Elkon, Brinken, Valegen, Lars, Marijn and uh, Heath did the past two weeks. And uh, then there's also the chance to qualify by winning points. So basically each weekly qualifier um, people will win points towards a monthly leaderboard according to the points they had when the knockout ended. So let's say uh, Ice has 5,000 points when, this, when the tournament ends. That means Ice will win 5,000 points towards the leaderboard. Um, I will explain you the rest later on, but we have actually a very interesting map now because the map is called Choose Your Adventure by Xontar. Xontar also in the chat. And on this map you have four different routes. You have a stadium route, a desert route, a rally route and a snow car route. And you can basically uh, choose yourself which one you want to take. And uh, I tried to get a solid run on everyone. And I can tell you they're absolutely not equally fast. They're absolutely not. There's especially one route which is way slower than the others. Yeah, I will not tell you anything. But one route is definitely the slowest. One route is definitely the slowest. And I feel like it's the route where many people will go to. <laughs> now, actually, it's quite, it's quite even. Like a few people here, a few there, a few there, a few there. It's impossible to spectate, of course. Uh, let's maybe follow the snow route for the first round here. Uh, you have a little bit of wood, a lot of hidden boosters, sort of. And then an uphill, which is a little bit scary. Here you can technically do a cut. You can jump straight down if you want to. At least that's what I found. Uh, maybe it's not even faster because you have less exit speed, but it's a chance. And then you also have an uphill in the ending. Purple is getting it pretty nicely. 
And uh, yeah, purple not winning, but purple getting a solid position. So snow does not seem to be the fastest route. So we're gonna have to see where Marius and Turbo are going because they got top two. <laughs> but I can tell you, the stadium is absolutely not the fastest. Stadium is by far the slowest. <laughs> so you should not go for the stadium route. I think Mario is gonna take Rally. And I can also tell you, uh, yeah, Rally is also the route that I had the fastest time on. I tried out every route once and Rally was the fastest. On snow, I was only like half a second slower. Desert was like one second slower. And then um, stadium was like 10 seconds slower from my first tries. Like they were not necessarily clean. And yeah, Mario is cooking the rally route, and that will probably be an easy win for him, I think. I think it will be an easy win for him. Not gonna lie. But let's see. But rally should be the fastest route. He is getting it pretty clean. And yeah, look at that. 33.8. Dennis in second, though. Okay, Dennis in second. What route did Dennis take? I think Dennis was not a s uh, snow abuser, so Dennis probably um, chose the desert route. The desert route is also not slow. So we're gonna check out the desert route as well. Dennis the Menace. Here he is. Ah, never mind. Dennis is a snow abuser. Okay, I wanna see the desert route though. Not too many people are going here. So we have two wall rides. Higibus is trying it. So let's see where Higibus is gonna end up on. Higibus is a good desert card player. Also Cheese Lover and Denti. Then a little bit of a speed check here, which is not too easy. Then a small downhill ride. Then um, a wiggle part where you wanna drive on two wheels to avoid the slowdown from the sand. A tight tech section here. Then a small drop into a right turn and then only one more turn into the finish. Okay, Desert is quite a bit slower to be honest. Quite a bit slower actually, holy moly. I think they drove like a 36, 37. Yeah, Rally was the best all along. Snow was also pretty solid. I mean, Dennis took it and Dennis was third. Then Desert and then Stadium was by far the slowest. But of course, you like it's hard to find out. You only have one warm up. So, as Aaron says, this is old car propaganda. Anyway, next map is by Hannover uh, Gast no, Hannover Fagasta. Always hard to pronounce that one. Or by Hannover in the chat. Uh, he built BYMC++ Scenery. And uh, this map is a bit more normal again, I would say. We have a little bit of a um, start, then a plastic part here. Into a booster that you can take. Then a jump into wood, which is not easy. To be honest, you have you need quite some airtime. I hope it's respawnable. I I'm not sure if I checked out this one, but it should be doable. And um, then you go into a wood section, and then we have a very, very interesting risky finish over here, which you can only do if you wiggle very hardly. Like you need to wiggle very hard, and if you do it right, you get a speed boost from the anti-boost, and uh, it pushes you into the finish. But if it's very easy to fail, it is very easy to fail. So that's going to be interesting. Let's maybe follow uh, Brent for this one. He is going for the jump. Probably gives you the best line. Ah, actually, I think the people going outside of the hole um, got the most speed. For example, Lars. Oh, Brent getting a really clean landing. Is Brent going to go for the risky door? Is he going to save it? He's going to go for the booster. Nice. And now wiggle, Brent. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Yes. And then you get the speed boost and then you make it. Very nice by Brent. Well done. First place. Well deserved. Lars in second. Ice. Then Fred, Wolf, Kanchika, Flo, Jan van Achten, and Centrian. And look at this, Marius actually caught up a lot on the previous map. That's crazy. I think he won all rounds there. So <laughs> that definitely saved him a lot. Now let's take a look at this different hole line that Lars is doing. I think they go right off the hole. And uh, with that, you don't get the reset of the Fragile. But if you don't crash, uh, the Fragile is no problem. But as you can see, he gets a good line and it's actually faster. It is actually worth it to go for it. Nice one. So let's see if he's gonna do the risky finish. He is going for this line here, so not going for the booster. And big wiggle into finish jump. There we go. Croxy slightly sniping him. Lucas Turbo in third. And then yeah, the rest you can see yourself. Alright, in the meantime, Lars um, at 5.1k points. Uh, the finalist mode is reached at 6969 because of reasons. So Lars is getting closer and closer to that. So let's see how close. Brand still going for the jump. It's not much slower. Pretty equal, to be honest. Let's see how good he's going to get this landing. Oh, very good. A lot of exit speed. Is he going to go for the booster? Yes, he is. Is that worth it, though? I'm not sure. Then going for the wiggle, getting the speed boost. And a 26.7, getting the offer time by Hannover Clean. Clean one by Brand. And with that, Brand definitely catching up. Especially because Lars had a bad round here. Lars only with 90 points. Holy moly, eh?
Anyway, we go over to the next map, which is called Big Yek Matikor, which has the same um, uh, the same abbreviation as the Big Yek Monthly Cup, BYMC. It's built by Ben Coveney. He Ben also in the chat, and this is basically it looks it looks very simple, but all of these um, dirt sections are actually underwater. If you look closely, you can see it shining a little bit, and that makes it uh, very interesting to drive and very tricky as well. So this is gonna be uh, cool to see. Because there is some strategies you can go for, you can go at the outside, because as you can see, the water is not all the way there. Ah yeah, this is a pretty cool map. So let's see what people are gonna go for. So you can go outside here, and if you do it nicely, it is also faster, I'm pretty sure. You can also go for the dirt water soups, of course. It's the same thing as when you have icy tires on dirt. And Lars is pretty good at this, so Lars should be able to get good points. Yeah, I think at this turn you definitely want to go outside. If you get that, it's definitely faster. But not an easy map to drive fast, to be honest. A lot of uh, things you would want to try out, but that you cannot try out because you don't have enough time. So very tricky, but very cool, very unique. And as you can see, it is very slow if you just go through the water. It is very slow. And going outside can give you more speed. So let's see what players are gonna do. Let's see, let's see, let's see. We're going in. Lars TM. Ah, not going outside. Croxy, for example, is going outside. And look how much faster it is. They are gaining time. Look at that. Fredwolf did it as well. Good cooking. Let's spectate Fredwolf. Is he also going for the outside line here? Yes, he is. Oh, outside no slide. Oh my god. Fredwolf, I'm proud of you. He had a small touch, but Fredwolf, I'm proud of you. That was... Like, if he would have survived that, he would have been so fast. Like, he literally touched, and he's still almost in first. Look how much faster it is. Look at this. Look at this, Fredwolf has the biggest brain. Look at that, Fredwolf with the biggest brain. Nice one. Nice one. That's what I wanted to see. People risking for the outside lines and look, he crashed and he still won easily. Nice one. Anyway, we go next. Fredwolf going outside again, going for a slide here and then going for the soup. And it is faster. This is nice to watch. Fredwolf is really good on this map. Crazy. Others have figured out this as well. Ah, Fredwolf. Oh, he touched again. No, but he was so far ahead. So, Bren is coming back, but... But Bren is not that good on this. Not as good as Fredwolf. Never mind. Bren is gonna win the round. I take it back. Sorry, Bren. All good. Didn't say anything. Bren winning the round. Dude, Fredwolf crashed twice, and he is fourth. Because he knows the strat. Crazy. <laughs> okay, you know what we're gonna do now? We have one more round left. What about we tune into Bren's stream for the final round? Let's see what Bren is gonna cook. Okay, we're back. We're back. Top two. We're back. Top two. Yeah. Lars two. fell off. Lars fell off. L plus ratio. <laughs> so let's see the round here by Bren from his POV. Yeah. Okay. Bren has the brain. He should rename to Brain. Never oh, mind. That's so bad. That is Don't actually not good. Yeah. Twenty-six. I can catch up and get like top five if I pick it. Okay. Let's good. see about that. Will he get top five? Outside no slide, nice one. Not pulling a Fredwolf. And he is top seven already. Yeah, hello. And he is almost first. Ay, 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 he's struggling with the smooth steer. Nice but that's up. still gonna be good position for him. He also crashed twice and he's gonna be fifth. This map is so oh, weird. First, even. Oh, he got sixth. Ha! That's not a top five by Bren. He got sixth. Keep I practicing, Bren. <laughs> that was interesting, though. Okay, next map. We have. BYMC noob implementation by Chai Pridra. Chai Pridra, man, we have many maps today by like very regular viewers, which are like very often in the chat. We have a desert car map, guys. I hope you guys are ready. Ice, Toto, Bren, Purple, and Fredwolf. Oh no, Fredwolf not quite, but many people could get into finalist here. But uh, yeah, we will see if that's gonna happen. We have desert car. You have to do a little bit of a wiggle here over the penalty. Then. A right turn into a small quarter pipe transition. Then we have a anti boost where you should also wiggle over. A looping and then also the ending section. A lot of anti boost which you don't want to go over necessarily. So, yeah, very basic map. Nothing too crazy, to be honest. Not the most giga high quality map, but it's gonna be interesting. It's gonna be interesting. So, what about Marius? Marius good at Desert Car. Also, we have a very wicked start here, which uh, somewhat works, but it's also just weird, to be honest. So let's see, Marius, wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Wiggling too much. Unlucky Marius. Let's just... Wait, look at this! Huh? 
Ach ja, Shaprite by himself, doing really good. Ja, okay, fair enough. The mapper of the map. Oh, what is Marius doing? Hä? What is Marius doing? Hä? <laughs> Marius, what are those lines? Hä? Huh? And fan of Shaprite failed. Yik. But Marius, what was that? <laughs> Full desert map and he gets 77. But anyway, what I wanted to explain to you earlier already. As I said, the top three will instantly qualify to the monthly final next week. And the rest of the players will win points. Basically, the amount of points they had when the tournament ended today. And uh, we also have a bit, little bit of a special rule for the fourth place, for the fifth place, and for everyone who reached finalist without closing it out. So basically, um, the fourth place will win 15,000 points. So basically, they get a huge bonus in points. Fourth place, uh, fifth place will then win 10,000 points, and everybody who reaches finalist without closing it out will win uh, 7,500 points. And all of the rest of the players, they will win the amount of points towards the leaderboard which they had when the cup ended. And look at this, Lars, Lars always like is annoyed by alt cars, but he is actually good at these. Like Lars, man. Lars, Lars can be so good at alt cars, to be honest. Like, he's really good at this. He understands... Like, he might not be the best when it comes to normal driving with them, but he understands the physics and the tricks, and that makes him pretty good on them. Especially, of course, on weird maps like this. I think they both need top... I think they need at least top two. Maybe they even have to win. But if one of them wins, they are definitely finalists. So let's see. Let's see the Lars line. Going for a lot of speed. Oh my god, he keeps a lot of speed indeed. Then tapping over this one, even going over the anti- Wait, he's- What he's- huh? Wait, is it actually a thing that you literally accumulate like- Huh? Do you actually get speed? Did I watch GPS? No. Apparently, I don't even know the technique, but if you go over anti-boost and you wiggle on two wheels, do you actually gain speed? I thought you just don't get slowed down, but apparently you actually gain speed. And you need to slide. Okay, so if you slide on the anti-boosts with Desert Car and like two wheel, you actually gain speed. I didn't know that. I literally didn't know that. That makes no sense, but I it is fucking amazing. <laughs> it makes no sense, but I love it. Okay, I didn't know that. Apparently Lars did. Oh, and now we come to the map. BYMC Sprout by Laku, and I would say this is the very best map anyone has sent in. Laku, a very known mapper um, for this one mapping team. Laku also playing himself, I think. Uh, How is that mapping team called? TMM? Nee. TMT? No, what is the mapping team? TMA. TMA. And this is a really, really good map. Like, actually high quality map. So, uh, I'm not sure if that's good for Lars, to be honest, because um, I think some others, like Heath, maybe also Bren, um, will definitely be able to deny him here. You know, Lars is usually better at, like, dank maps. But let's see. This is a really, really good map. This is an actually good map. So in the start, you need to go very fast. Because if you don't, you will not make this jump clean. So many people will fail here. You need quite a bit of speed here. Then you have a right turn. Very tight as well. Losing the gear. Going down left. Then a jump into grass. Very smooth reactor grass here. Nice one. So like, like basically what I told players, uh, like the only regulations for the map were, oh true, it's also Laku himself playing. So Laku himself could deny Lars here, which is of course also a thing that can happen. But no, like the only regulations there were, were um, regarding length and difficulty of the maps. But style-wise, they could have built anything they wanted. And Laku was one of the only ones who actually decided to build like a normal proper map. So yeah, gonna be interesting here what's gonna happen. Gonna be interesting. So Lars got second in the warm-up, but Laku could deny him. And Laku, uh, yeah, no, is the mapper. So let's see. But others could, of course... My name is Lars! Hello! So Lars is not gonna win on this one. Uh, let's maybe spectate Ice, because Ice needs a solid run to get finalist. And at the moment, he looks pretty solid. Ice also not qualified yet. Oh, not with the great line here. He forgot where to go a little bit. But he doesn't need insane points. He only needs like uh, 300. So a top... Yeah, he only needs like top 14 or something. And he is top 12 at the moment. So he should be fine. He, also, he is also overtaking. And only the ending left. He should just save it. And then he will be in finalist. Looking good. Very nice. Ice in 
finalist. Bren is going to be the finalist as well, which means we have three players fighting for the win now. Let's see. So let's see. Ice. Let him cook. Ah, also clipping the landing. Not very nice. Already losing out on point four with that. That is not too good for him. But who do I see in first? It is Bren. Bren fighting. Is he remembering the turn? Yes, he is getting the most exit speed. Bren could close it out here. And Bren is not qualified yet. He didn't even play the first edition of the week. Uh, of the month. Last week he got fourth. Oh, but Bren with a bad line here has to release a lot and he will get overtaken by Laku and also by Hayom. And I think Bren is not able to close it out here. Laku with a different line. And I think Laku is gonna win once again on his own map. But others are contesting. Like, Laku is not driving insane. He is beatable. He is beatable. Now, let's see. Bren could close it out. We still are only at three finalists, but we could get three new ones. Uh, Purple, Toto and Fredwolf could get finalist. Nah, it's too late for something like that. <laughs> so let's spectate Bren. Is he gonna make it? Is he gonna get the GG or is he gonna get the... Yeah. <gasps> what the fuck? Huh? Did you see that? He used the bump to get airtime to do a bug slide. And it barely even gained, but it's so difficult. But what the fuck? Wicked, I want him to win. Bren, please win it. What the fuck? That was hella wicked. Holy moly, eh? Come on, Bren, you can do it. But Heath, Heath is lurking in the shadows. Is he gonna get a good drift? Yes, he is. He should be able to win it. He has 0.3 of a lead. Is it gonna be the GG for Bren? Is he gonna win it? Yes, Bren is the winner of the edition. GG to him with that. He is qualified to the monthly final. Well freaking done. With that back slide, I think we can all agree that Bren deserves it. Holy moly. That was so wicked. Lars Molding? Ain't no way. Okay, checking Lars. Track generator extended. I think this is actually a randomly generated map that somebody sent in. Giga chat. So let's see how Lars is gonna do in the warm up. I can tell you this map also has um, a small cut that you can do. Okay, Lars saw it. You can jump like this. But it's not yeah, easy. If he only. I don't need to argue with that. What do you mean? What is Lars molding about? If he had less rounds. My, the, the, the advantage that I had from getting earlier finalists was completely gone. It completely didn't matter that I got finalists before him. Yeah. Because the mapper was just playing the first rounds. You know, like, it didn't matter that I was first finalist. Okay, so Lars is not too happy that the mapper played. As I said, like, it's a bit of a downside, of course, with user-submitted maps. But how would I avoid it? Like, the players don't know when their map is coming up. It's always randomized, so... Yeah, it's just a small advantage for the mappers as a small, like, let's say, let's say it's a small thank you from me to the mappers that they sent in the map. <laughs> so in this case, of course, it was an advantage for Laku, but, yeah. <laughs> but either way, Laku was beatable. So Heath won. Did Heath, was Heath finalist? No. Heath is finalist now. Hayom, oh, not enough for finalist. Marius is finalist though. But this is a very, we didn't even focus on the map yet, um, but this one is um, very, very yek. This is an actual yek map <laughs> by Red Ghost. Wait, Fredwolf says his reroute is faster, but he crashed. A reroute? What is he rerouting? Ah, aha, ah, okay, okay, I see it, I see it, I see it. But is that faster? Getting this one first and then going uh, to the other one? If Fredwolf wins like this, is he gonna do it? Okay, some people are going for it. Fredwolf and also Ice. Both are finalists. Okay, come on. I want that. I want to see that now. Go cook. Nein, he failed. No, he failed. Oh, it is faster. It is actually faster. Oh, we have a fight. Lars versus Ice. Both are finalists. Who's gonna make it? Heath is finalist as well. Is Ice gonna take it? Ice with some airtime, but it is Ice with the win. GG. Ice. Second place in this edition. With that, he is also qualified to the monthly final. Clap for Ice. Banger. GG. Good focus. Ice. In the meantime, we have many finalists, as you can see. Like, seven or eight, I think. Eight. Freaking do it. Two cut maps this week. Yeah, actually crazy. Maybe even more. Oh, nine. Fred Wolf with a bump. Ay, ay, ay. Looking bad. Okay, Liker. Is Liker finalist? Uh, no. 
Many different routes here, actually. Here comes Liker. Oh, Liker with a good... Oh, Purple! Purple getting it insanely well. Is Purple finalist? No. Purple not finalist. He is gonna win the round and he is gonna deny everyone. Good focus. Oh, no, never mind. Yeah, Purple was finalist. GG, of course he is. Yeah, of course he is. I, I, I saw that. I saw that. GG, Purple. Purple getting top three. Nice. <laughs> okay. Yeah, well done. And we actually have a cool map. But this one is going to be interesting. We have Stunts at Home by Black Princess. Uh, Black Prince, sorry. Not Princess. <laughs> Black Prince. It's a stadium car map. So that should make people happy. It's a bit obstacle heavy. And especially interesting is the finish. Because you can do multiple things at the finish jump, basically. You can take the looping and just jump into the risky. You can go and ignore the looping and go safe and get 10 million slow-mos. Or the craziest and most risky route, you can flip off here and either make it to the risky finish or back down to the safe finish. But that is not easy at all. But I think now that we're in finalist mode, people have to risk that. And that's gonna be, um, yeah, pretty crazy. Also here you have like some alternative routes. You can go for a jump. You can also um, go um, the no jump route. I'm not sure what is faster actually. And yeah, let's see in the ending. Let's see if people are aware. Somebody finished already, but Legen made it. But this is not the fastest route here. Like, we're gonna go into Camp 7. That's, I think, the best way to do. Not a map for Marius, I would say. Because Marius, of course, uh, Marius and full risking, difficult. But could be good for Lars, maybe. So let's see. Marius going for the no airtime here. It should be equal, to be honest. But not if you do this. <laughs> so let's see. Who is gonna make it? We have the jumpers. Hayom going for the flip. Toto flipping, Toto! But it's Hayom! Hayom made it! Hayom GG getting fourth. I'm not sure what Hayom did, but I think he did the flip into risky finish. Crazy. Ah, oh, Toto would have deserved it as well, to be honest. Lars also was there, but in the ending, Hayom got it the best. Alright, GG Hayom. And with that, we only have one position left. So let's follow Lars for the start, maybe. And then the ending, we're gonna go into Camp 7 again. Water pipe. Not the lowest jump by Lars, but pretty good. Lars also going for the jump. Probably the best to do. Very easy then with the angle. Then going for a lot of boost. As you can see, Lars has more speed than the others. And now going in the, into the ending. Heath is there as well. Is Heath going for the flip? No. Who's making it? What is happening? It is Hill! Hill sniping everyone. Was Hill finalist? Absolutely not. Hill denying Fred Wolf and also the others. Holy moly. This ending is really hard to spectate, to be honest. Like, there's so many different things you could do. <laughs> it's crazy. Once again, let's follow Heath this time. Heath is fast. But he is not the best player at the ending. And he is also, uh, yeah. Also, uh, yeah, that's, also, um, yeah, not the best threat. What about Vredwolf? Vredwolf is also a little behind. Either way, it doesn't matter. It is about the ending. We have Liker, Lars, everybody. Who is gonna make the jump out the best? Lars flipping out and Lars getting it perfect. Mashallah. 28.1 by Lars. We had a really good run. Flipping out low into the risky. That was really good. Well done to Lars. GG to everybody. As always, I really hope you enjoyed the big yak. Monthly cup, of course. Thank you very much to everyone who joined. Also, thank you very much for watching, of course. Uh, we will quickly check the results, of course, in order to see who the 20 players are who qualify to the monthly final, which is going to happen next month, as I said. E-Circuit Mania is cooking. Holy moly, eh? The results are immediately updated. And here we have the top 20. Elkon, Brinken, Valegen, Lars, Marijn, Purple, Heath, Bren and Ice. Nine players who instantly qualified by getting top three in one of the editions. GG to them. Then, in terms of points, we had Centrian who uh, won, uh, who got fourth in the first qualifier and then got finalist in the other two, making it. Then we have Pliski, Nixobi, Marius making it, Fredwolf making it, Link making it, Tark making it, Turbo making it, Arpa making it, Flo making it, and. Dennis making it and CJ, Cheese Lover, Kush, or also Toto didn't make it. Damn. Toto, Obi Boy, Varys, Seamouse, Delete, Jan van Achtern, Laku, Hayom. They all sadly did not make it. Those are the top 20 
who will uh, be playing the monthly final next month, unless uh, one of them has no time, of course. Then, uh, yeah, let's say in case uh, Dennis has no time to play, then I will ask CJ and so on and so on. So yeah, um, GG to everyone. No? Next month, uh, next month, next week, monthly final is going to be fun. Make sure to tune in. I will also, of course, make a YouTube video about that, etc., etc. So you will be able to watch it on all possible platforms. It's going to be really cool.